smell the base notes of a Colombian dark roasted coffee and oh wow, a little floral bouquet of maybe some mandarin oranges and oh, que surprisa. Is that a hint of hydrogen? We'll get to the hydrogen business in a moment. Let's first cover the quality of stank produced by the breath. We can thank something called retronasal olfaction for the ability to get a whiff of our breath in the first place. You see, the throat is connected to the nasal cavity where the olfactory receptors hang out and bind to odor molecules, like the ones wafting off your tongue, evoking a smell perception. So if you ate a garlic slathered piece of bread, you'd have traces of the sulfuric compound allicin coating your tongue, radiating halo of garlic around you, and generally, bad breath is largely attributed to the tidal pool of gas-emitting bacteria on the tongue and below the gum line. But what about morning breath? Well, Dutch researchers from Niso Food Research and the University of Groningen collected odor molecule samples from volunteers with really stinky morning breath. And they use a gas chromatography machine which measures levels of different odorous molecules. They found the stinky culprits to be hydrogen sulfide, methyl mercaptan, and dimethyl sulfide, respectively the smell of rotten eggs stinky cheese and sour cabbage. So what do you do? Well, you can brush your tongue, your teeth, and the roof of your mouth, but it turns out the best way to rid yourself of mouth stench would be to let bacteria do battle with bacteria because there are about 1,000 species of bacteria living in your mouth and each of those bacteria produces a different type of smell, which has led microbiologists to try to figure out how to keep one really foul smelling bacteria from overtaking a more pleasant one. Of course, diet antibiotics and illness also influence the fetid fragrance emanating from our mouths, but sometimes it's just a matter of preference. So one woman's cloves of garlic could be another woman's field of lilies. But hold on, we're not quite out of the bad breath woods yet. It turns out that a fixed percentage of hydrogen produced in the colon is absorbed into the blood, and when it reaches the lungs, it's exhaled. That's right, a part of the fart cocktail that your body makes sometimes hitches a ride on your breath and out into the world. So let us celebrate this conglomeration of odorous molecules, hydrogen and all, rushing from our mouths and out into the atmosphere for others to enjoy. After all, according to theoretical physicist Lawrence Krauss and his Cosmic Connections lecture, in every breath you take, there are an average of at least 10 oxygen atoms from the dying breath of Caesar when he said, et tu brute? Every time you breathe, you're breathing in the atoms of everyone who has ever lived. Whoa. All right, time to fess up, guys. What is the one thing that gives you dragon's breath? And would you sniff out another person's breath for science? Let us know in the comments below. And to make sure the videos keep a coming, subscribe. Yay!